wanted to show you a strategy for going up and down the stairs um, that might be really nice in the early post-op period. It also might be nice if you're kind of getting to that point where maybe you don't have people around to be guarding you or you're home early on or you need to be carrying stuff up and down the stairs relatively early after surgery. So this is actually the absolute safest way to go up and down the stairs. Um, I used to be a physical therapist in New York City and I mean, I'd even get 80 year old ladies who broke a hip, you know, falling on an icy sidewalk. They lived in a six story walk up and to be able to go home, we had to be able to get them up and down the stairs and sometimes just the strength and the endurance to be able to do it on crutches wasn't enough. So this is a strategy that I always said at the very, very, very least, even if no, somebody has no other way to go up and down the stairs, this is a really great option. Um, it's even nice sometimes just if you're having a lot of pain or if you're dizzy or just for some other reason or you're just feeling really weak at the end of the day. But um, anyway, this is basically a bottom scoot up and down the stairs. Once again, so ideal if you have somebody at home who can take the crutches up the stairs for you, or even if you're on a walker at this point, this might be a great option if you are on a walker and haven't even gotten to the point that you feel steady enough on crutches. But um, you can also certainly do it on your own and carry your own crutches up. But what I've done is the biggest challenge I find with this technique is that I get to the top of the stairs and then it's a lot of like hoisting yourself up, which sometimes can be really hard, especially if you're not feeling great or if you're having a lot of pain or maybe if you have um, some problems with your other hip as well. So um, what I do is I recommend putting a chair at the top of the stairs. So this is a great, you know, even if you're planning for after surgery, thinking about home setup, that really nice to have a chair at the top of the stairs to help with this in case you need it. So. Um, if you're having a lot of weakness or a lot of pain or problems moving your leg, you could certainly use a leg lifter. You could um, also have someone support your leg while you do this. But once again, there's, it's, it just feels so good sometimes to be in your own bed, if you have an upstairs bedroom. Um, so it's just a really nice option for people to be able to get there, especially early after surgery. So to be able to scoot up, it's exactly what, I, what you would think. If you're using your good, strong leg, I've got my orange sock on my operated side. This is the side I don't want to be putting a lot of weight through. And you're literally using your arms and your strong leg to help push yourself up the stairs. If you need to use, bring your crutches with you, you can pull them up alongside you and just using your strong leg and your arms and scooting yourself up the stairs. What I love though about having a chair at the top is that when I get up here, instead of having to haul myself all the way up and just standing, what I can literally do is get my crutches. I've got a hand on the chair, nice and sturdy. I've got uh, all my weight through my stronger or less painful side, and I'm gonna push myself up, sit up in that chair, and then literally all I have to do is screw myself around, and then I can stand up and walk with my crutches. Same thing for coming back down the stairs. I would start just sitting up in the chair. Put your crutches down, use the handrail. I like to have one hand on the chair. I just feel like I feel very safe doing that. Get your strong leg out and then use your strong leg and your arm to really help lower yourself. Just nice and safe. Coming down nice and easy. You're just controlling yourself with your hand, with that strong leg holding your crutches if you need to. Um, once again, if this leg was really a problem, I might use a leg lifter and loop it onto the toes there. Um, at that point, I have to be honest with you, I might just let the crutches slide down the stairs um, just because that would be a lot to control all at once. But I think if you're just real light with this foot, like you literally can just slide it forward let that knee bend a little bit. You're not putting any weight through this foot. Super, super, super safe at the bottom. Stand on up, get your crutches, get your walker, whatever you need, and get on with life.